Hey guys, today I'm here to show you how to do an origami fold on a flat diaper. If you have a flat that is a little bit rectangular, not quite square, you want your shorter sides to be here on the edges. Just FYI, that's going to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to bring it up, fold it in half, and then bring it over, fold it in half. And then you have a corner up here that has all four layers where you can see each individual corner. And you wanna take this, only this top layer here and pull it over and it makes this magical little triangle. We're going to take the diaper and flip it upside down. So you wanna hold it so that you can kinda of keep it secure here, flip it upside down, straighten it out a little bit if needed. And then you're gonna go in and make the actual little absorbent pad so you can go half and then half. That's how I like to do it. If you have a bigger kiddo, you can go third, third, kind of make it a little bit wider here in the middle. And then I like to tuck in these little edges here, tuck it in a little bit. And if I'm gonna be putting this like away, if it's laundry day and I just folded this up to be using at a different time, I'm gonna wrap it all up like this. And then I like to store mine like upside down in a row, like in a basket or on the changing table, just like this. So when it's time to change baby, I pick it up, lay it out on the changing table, unfold it a little bit. And then I'm gonna go get our little baby bear here. And the cool thing about an origami fold when you're doing it on a little baby, like a newborn or a couple month old baby, is that you don't always need to use pins or a snappy. So you bring it up in the middle, you bring it over to the side, and these big long wings can tuck. So I brought this wing over here and I can tuck it right in here. And it will hold together just well enough for me to get the diaper cover on top. And then once you have the diaper cover nice and secure on baby, this is gonna stay in place pretty well. So if you don't like using a snappy and you happen to have a little baby or a really big flat, you could get away with just tucking it. Then just kind of depending on how it fits on baby, you may need to adjust these legs. So I just like to, you know, roll it in, tuck it in a little bit on the leg area to make it fit more like underpants so it's not all the way down on baby's leg. And that just makes a little extra barrier for poo coming out or just to make it fit a little nicer when you go to put the waterproof cover on top because this is your absorbency. This is what baby's gonna pee in, but you need a diaper cover on top in order to make it waterproof so baby can roll around the house or wear pants or do anything that 